Hello? Is this working? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an awesome day. Today I'm very excited because I will be filming a dance cover for BTS's new song, Dynamite. This song is very happy, very cute, and I haven't done a cute song in a while. Some of you guys have been requesting videos on how I film my dance covers. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how I usually get ready for filming and also I'll be taking you guys with me to the filming location and without further ado, let's hop right into it. Today is Saturday and I'm planning to film BTS at 4 in the afternoon. The first thing I always do before filming a dance cover is washing my hair. I normally start putting on makeup around 2 hours before I film just so it doesn't get oily by the end of filming. I love how of all days my skin decided to act up today and I have a huge pimple between my eyebrows. But hopefully after I finish my dance makeup it won't be so noticeable to you guys. It usually takes me 20 minutes to do my face makeup, sometimes a little longer. For Kart's gunshot cover, I actually spent some time drawing scars on my face, similar to Jiwoo's makeup in their music video but I don't think they were very visible in the dance cover. I like to contour my nose, my jaw, and my forehead for a more defined look. I used to wear colored contact lenses as well, but ever since I started filming with my iPhone, I realized they don't make too much of a difference in my videos, so I don't wear them anymore. After I finish my makeup, I will get changed into my outfits. I don't always need to iron my clothes, but today I have to because I just washed these and it came out very wrinkly. If you have been following me for a while, you probably have seen these pants a couple of times already. But this is the first time I'll be wearing them with the blazer. I'm very glad that I didn't have a hard time choosing an outfit for Dynamite. BTS wore suits when they performed and this is the only suit set that I have. I think the hardest outfit so far to decide on has to be Itzy's Not Shy. I actually made my crop top by hand because I just couldn't find anything similar to the outfits in their music video. Ordering online would take ages plus I wasn't sure if I would end up liking it. I like to choose my outfits based on how well they suit the song, as well as how comfortable they are dancing in. Normally, I don't wear tight jeans, just because I find them very restricting when I try to execute certain dance moves. I sometimes would consult with my mom or friends if I have trouble deciding what to wear. I've been borrowing my mom's clothes a lot recently. Mostly because there are so many dance covers to do and my own clothes are just not enough. So after getting changed, it's time for me to do my nails. I know this may seem very unnecessary because you guys probably can't even see my nails in the dance videos. But I personally just like to make sure the color of my nails also goes well with the song. Last week I painted my nails dark red before filming card. But like I mentioned earlier, Dynamite has a bright happy tone to it. And so I wanted to change them to something softer. My mom comes and tries to give me advice on my nail color. In the end, after thoughtful consideration, I decided to go with this pastel purple color. Also, I don't know what's going on with me, but I find it super hard to memorize lyrics to Dynamite even though the whole song is in English. 
best time to practice the dance is when I wait for my nails to dry. The next step is filming a test shot at home. This is to make sure that I remember the dance and can do everything in the outfits and shoes I'm about to wear for filming. It's one of the most important things I can do to make sure I'm well prepared and to reduce the amount of time I spend outdoors embarrassing myself in public. It's much better to find out what can potentially go wrong at home than when I'm already outside filming. Oh, and by the way, I don't put in energy in my test shot because I need to save it for later. Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with this test shot. A few minutes later. We are on our way to the filming location. My mom's driving me there. Speaking from experience, the best weather conditions for filming in public is cloudy with no wind. And as you can probably tell, it is very sunny and windy today, which is not exactly ideal, but still much better than if it rained. The reason why I really like this location is because it has a very dancer friendly floor and the lighting here is usually not too bright or too dark, which is very important for filming. And on top of that, this place is one of the busier spots I could find on the Go Coast. So this is the Claw Machine Arcade you guys can see in my videos a lot. I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus on the tripod to film. And my laptop is connected to my speaker via Bluetooth to play the song. Here I'm just trying to position the camera to get the ideal angle. A very important thing during filming is I try my best not to move the tripod or adjust the camera once I start filming. Keeping everything in the same position makes it much easier to edit transitions between different clips and to make them less abrupt. When I first started, I used to make the mistake of taking my tripod off the ground to check my videos and as a result the transitions in the final product were not as smooth as they could have been. And speaking of transitions, I know some viewers prefer watching one take dance covers with no cuts, which is really cool. But sometimes it is very difficult due to many many reasons, for instance I've been stopped by security interrupted by people passing by and more importantly because I dance alone I get little to no rest during the entire choreography sometimes towards the end of a song my energy would drop to a level I'm personally not satisfied with since my dance covers will be online for everyone to see I really do want to give it my best and have consistent energy throughout the whole dance cover and those are the reasons why I don't always upload full take videos, but I still hope you guys will enjoy watching them. Okay, I quit. Hooray, filming's done and I can't wait to go home and edit the video. Huge thanks to my mom for driving me and helping me out today. She was actually really sleepy this entire time. I would say today's filming went pretty smoothly. I did two takes and I ended up using both takes for the actual dance cover because I preferred some parts from the first and some from the second. I try to wash my face as soon as I get home after filming because sweaty makeup is very bad for the skin. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed my cover of Dynamite. Hope you guys find it refreshing. And if you haven't already, please check it out via the link in the description. Before I go, I just want to say thank you all so much for all the love and support you have given me. I recently hit 100k subscribers and I really appreciate every single one of you. If you happen to have any requests or recommendations for future videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments or via Instagram. Also, I'll be having a special video coming up very soon, so please make sure you turn on the notifications. Wherever you're watching this video from, I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!